Hey everyone, my name is Path, I make fun physics videos, and today I am here with a study with me. Now, many of you know that I'm a physics graduate, so why am I studying at all? Well, I've recently rediscovered my passion for physics. I've made a video all about this recently, as well as giving you my favorite study and revision tips for learning physics. Check it out in the top right hand corner now or in the description below. So essentially I'm taking some time out of my day to learn some physics, but what am I studying in the first place? Well, in accordance with my study tips video, I'm starting with a course which I enjoyed at university. This one is introductory quantum mechanics since it was about time I got back to the fundamentals and got strong on those. I'm not in any hurry to complete the course and I'm trying to understand it in as much detail as possible. And interestingly, I've also found a couple of concepts in this course already that I can explain in future videos. So look out for those and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Now, before talking about anything else, I'll ask you my weekly question of the week now. Usually I ask it at the end of the video and so lots of you don't get to see it, but I always love seeing the responses to my weekly questions of the week, so this week I'm going to do it a little bit early in the video. This week I want you to pause and look back on the past year of your life. It was my birthday recently, so I caught myself doing this as well. But I want you to look back on the last year and comment on one thing that you have improved about yourself. For many of us, life is a journey towards constantly getting better at things or constantly making life better for ourselves. So as cliche as it sounds, sometimes it's nice to just stop and see how far we've come. Personally, I'm always keeping busy, but I've gotten better at two things. Firstly, listening to my body and mind, taking a break from things when it's necessary. I gave myself some time away from social media fairly recently for about a week and a half. I think it was close to two weeks. And in an unprecedented move for me, I'm actually currently taking a week or two away from badminton so I can allow my body to heal a little bit. So that's one thing I've gotten better at. The second thing is handling my responsibilities. You know, like I said, I keep busy and this is still not perfect, but it's gotten a lot better. I've gotten a lot better at handling my responsibilities by starting a habit tracker. Now, this basically is just a table with all the habits that I want to get into. And it's just a checklist to see if I've done those things every day with the caveat that I don't have to do everything every day. So it's a tool that allows me to visualize all the good things I've done throughout the day without putting any pressure on myself to constantly have to do all of those things every single day. This way it becomes a bit more of a friendly competition with yourself to see how much better you can be than the previous day. And if you don't manage all the habits that you're supposed to be getting into, then oh well, there's always tomorrow. So anyway, tell me down in the comments below what's one thing that you've gotten better at over the past year. Anyway, the other thing is, like I said earlier, I'm keeping myself very busy, but at the same time, I'm taking time out to do some physics because I miss learning and, you know, I've spoken about this in length before, but it's just a short period of time. I'm not forcing myself to do a certain amount of time. I'm doing it whenever I'm in the mood and usually that mood is, come on, I really want to learn some physics, so let's do it for a couple of hours. In between all of that, I am obviously working, but I'm also taking time to play some sport, keep healthy, eat good food, enjoy life, hang out with friends, you know, just try and make life as enjoyable as possible. And that's what I'd recommend to you as well. Especially for those of you revising for exams that are coming up, GCSEs, A-levels, whatever. They're far enough away at this point that you should not be sacrificing your social life, your sanity, or anything like that for the sake of exams. And then when it gets closer to exams, you can spend more time revising and so on and so forth. But for now, take it easy, enjoy the stuff that you're learning, and realize that learning is about longevity. It's not about who can put in the most hours during your GCSEs or during your A-levels. It's about those of us who can keep learning for 20 years to come, 30 years to come, 40 years to come. And if that means that you only study three hours a day instead of eight hours a day, then so be it. So anyway, guys, if you're enjoying this video, then please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to see more fun physics content, then head over to my channel, subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to hit that bell button as well if you want to be notified every time I upload. Guys, thank you so much for all the wonderful comments on the previous video and all of the videos before that. I love reading what you guys have to say, especially in response to the weekly questions of the week. So don't forget to drop me your comments this week as well. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. I'm not even in front of the camera this time, so I can't even say bye 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 bye, but I will anyway. Bye 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 bye.